Well, hello there. Uh, last night, I watched Chud. Or, Cannibalistic Humanoid Underground Dwellers. And, it's a cult classic. It's from 1984. I, this is the first viewing. First viewing ever. And, I watched it because, one, one of my best friends loves the movie Chud, references it often. Uh, also, The Simpsons have referenced Chud several times. And between, well, pretty much my two best friends, uh, I decided to finally watch it. And I've always remembered the box art from when I was very young. I can always remember picking up the box for Chud and going, ooh, I would like to see this someday. Well, many, many years later, I finally did. And it was fun. I'm giving it a six. Uh, and I'm even taking in consideration the fact that it's almost 30 years old. Um, in fact, the only reason I'm not giving it a seven is because of the ending. Uh, I thought it was very well directed. I can't remember the name of the director. Um, it was kind of well written. It was a very interesting idea. Um, uh, the characters were really fleshed out on the page before it ever went to screen. You can tell that. Um, there may have been too much going on. Uh, it could have been more focused. Uh, it stars... A bunch of character actors from the 80s. If you're a student of film, um, you will recognize a lot of the people, uh, especially uh, 80s films. A lot of familiar faces. Uh, stars Ryan O'Neill. Um, that's like the name. Uh, let's see, who else is in there? And pretty much a bunch of people who you recognize. Daniel Stern is another one. He's another main character uh, from the Home Alone movies and the narrator of The Wonder Years. Uh, Daniel Stern's really good. He's very wily, um, very bug-eyed in here. Uh, again, you will recognize a lot of the faces, but may, may not know many of the names. Most notably, uh, John Goodman. John Goodman, I he's in this very briefly. It may be one of his first roles ever, uh, but he is definitely John Goodman. And it's good to see a very young uh, John Goodman. And somewhat slim. He was still pretty big. But John Goodman. Uh, again, I thought the story just got too complicated. There was a lot going on. Um, too many storylines to try and tie in together. Uh... You, you would get to see like 10 minute stretches of each character and then it would switch to another character and I thought, well no, I want to go back to see what's going on with the other guy, you know, that I like more than this guy. Um, so the, you know, the story was very, got very meandering and, and almost too big for its own good. Uh, again, the ending just like really falls apart there is no ending um they the movie ends without them dealing with any of the problems uh except for maybe one uh and that's the human element the chud element is is totally ignored i don't know if there was a chud too but there almost needed to be because chud didn't have an ending so that again that's why i'm not giving it a seven because this is a cult classic i was very tense a lot of the times it, it was very well directed um well paced uh for at least the first half i thought it was pretty because you don't get to see the chud until like a half hour in so it does keep you in suspense and all the acting is pretty good for being a b movie um I thought the acting was, was fine. Uh, of course, it's totally 80s. The score 
is uh, very Halloween-esque. I think Halloween came before. I also thought this almost lifted directly from Evil Dead. Um, Evil Dead 2, really. Uh, I, you know, I can't remember what came first, Evil Dead. Or Evil, I know Evil Dead came before, but I don't know whether Evil Dead 2 came before this. But I think they used even some of the same props. So I thought it was interesting. But uh, the chuds, you know, look cool. Uh, they're very funny. I had a good time watching this movie. You know, I had fun. And I thought it was, for the most part, well made. So that's about it. I'm definitely glad I have finally seen Chud. You know, I, I feel like I've accomplished something now. <laughs> um, so I don't know what else to say. If you've never seen Chud, well, I think it's very influential, you know, um, <laughs> at least in terms of B-movies. Uh, and again, a fun time. A fun time. So, that's Chud. It's from 1984, a uh, cult classic. I'm going to give it a six because I had a good time. And I thought, for the most part, it was of quality. But the ending, definitely. I mean, just I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe how the ending was so unsatisfactory. So there you go. That's Chud. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.